In this video, we'll be exploring web scraping multiple pages on domain listing using RVEVS package in R. So this is the website that we'll be scraping from. It's called domain.com. And um, this is the listing here, and we'll be doing multiple pages. As you can see here, there are multiple pages laid out here. And I particularly like this website because of its web address. Like it's pretty simple enough where if you go to subsequent pages, this part just changes. For example, if I go to page three, that will go to number three. Um, if I go back to page two, I go back to page two, that goes to number two. So it's easy enough in terms of coding. Um, so another thing is we'll be using the uh, we'll be using the um, selector gadget. Again, uh, CSS selector. So, um, so, for example, the address will be dot listing dash result address. Uh, so, for other things, you know, um, I also use the inspect inspection button. So, for example, uh, when I click on the price, it's under the listing results dot underscore price. If you go type. As in uh, listing result uh, underscore underscore property type, and so on. And the features, they're all under features. They're all under property features. So, it's somewhere around here. Yeah, it's this one right here. And then you have the uh, URL right here, which uh, is one of the items that uh, I'll be scraping as well. So, let's get started. This is the code saved on my Jupyter notebook. Uh, as usual, we'll be loading all our packages. Okay. And then uh, I'm going to be setting the web address to URL. And uh, what's important here is to change the number of page to percent %d. Okay. And then next step is the scraping step. Um, so here we'll be using the per function mapdf. Um, so basically, uh, we'll be scraping um, the address here, uh, price, property type, and also the link of each property. Uh, so this is kind of neat. We can get uh, unique links for each property. And uh, we're going to do that for all the four pages. So I'm going to put uh, the link of the source of this code under my video. So we'll check it out. OK, so let's take a look at what it looks like. And so we have 80 observation with four variables right here. As you can see, that's a pattern of the address looking a little bit funny. Like, you know, there's like this big chunk of address that um, doesn't seem to make sense. And what it really is, is it's showing um, additional information on top of each page, which I'm going to get rid of. So, um, so, um, so I'm going to do this on this step right here, and then let's take a look again, and that got rid of all the big chunks of addresses, and uh, we're getting a simpler table with only the address and, and what we need here. Okay, so next. I'm going to be scraping the home features. For this, I'm going to be using the same method, uh, the mapdf function, and uh, scraping from listing result features. Let's run this. And let's take a look at it. All right, so here we get, we're getting 84 observations. 
And you can see now why I'm running this separately because the number of observations are different from the one we got before. If we were to run this together, we won't get anything. So, uh, so there's a lot of junks again, and uh, 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 which is what I'm gonna be cleaning uh, in the next step. Okay, I'll clean that, and then let's take a look again. So this is a lot cleaner. Um, with just the features. Okay. And so let's combine this to the main data frame. And let's take a look at how it looks like. So we have here all the features and add it into one of the columns. So this looks great. Um, so next what I'm going to do is to split out the features and get three different variables, bedroom, bathroom, and parking. So here I'm going to be using the stringer package, sub SDR function to extract um, from position one up until position six for bedroom. And then um, subsequently the first uh, number of um, of the extracted uh, stuff. So here uh, we have a cleaner output. So uh, same for number of bathroom. I'll be extracting from position six up until position twelve. And after some cleanup, we have this. And then for parking, uh, requires a little bit more work. Um, I'm using regular expression here. So extracting from position 12 up until the letter G, which is G for parking. And then I'm going to drop the parking, drop HS, and then uh, extract the number of parking, just a number. And, and after some cleanup, um, to get the final number of parking. So uh, I'm not going to show what it looks like at each step. So you can do that by yourself. Uh, so I see the final output. So it's very clean here. We either have the number of parking or a dash uh, when there's none. So let's combine all these three variables into the main data frame. And let's take a look here. So it looks like uh, the output that I want. So let's export to our CSV file and let's take a look. Great. So we have here our Excel sheet output and with the address, size. Type, property type and links um, and all the uh, features separate out. So what I like to do here is to do some um, spot check to make sure that uh, the information um, is correct. So I'm going to go to the website here and then Let's go see the first, our first uh, unit here, uh, Princess Street. Okay, so we have here Princess Street, and it's supposed to have two, two bed, two bath, and one parking. So that's correct. Let's go down a little bit further down the list to our Carrington Street. So four six Carrington Street. So. It's and a little bit more. Okay, here, here's our guy. And then we have here one bed, one bath, and two parking. Exactly what's on the website. And then let's go to the third page and let's look at 
17 Eden Street. 17 Eden Street. Um, which is right here. Okay, supposed to have three, bed, three baths and one parking spot. So, let's go right here. Let's do one more just to make sure. Let's go to page four. And let's pick something in the middle. Say, 160 Girl Street. Um, Okay, I believe no, that's not our guy. Uh, okay, this seven oh five. Okay, let's see. Okay, okay, I'm just gonna seven two. Okay, down here. Uh, oh, okay, it's right here. So 702, um, it's supposed to have two bed, two baths, and no parking. So exactly what it is. So, um, yeah. So uh, make sure you spot check your data to see if it's correct um, across uh, different places of the uh, data and to confirm that what you have is actually what. Uh, you intended to scrape. So uh, this is the end of the video. Hope you like it uh, and see you next time.